So you've got some spare money. Should you pay down your mortgage or renovate your home? We're gonna look at that today. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe below. All of the money that we generate from our ad revenue goes to local New Zealand charities. Today we are talking about if you have some cash lying around, is it better to renovate your home and increase the value or is it better to pay off your mortgage? Now one of the first things we have to address is that this is not a video for people who are buying to flick on. It isn't about buying a house, renovating it and flicking it quickly. This is about if you live in a house and you find yourself with some spare money, let's say it might be savings, it might be if you have just had your KiwiSaver released, if you're 65 years old, you've had a bonus, anything like that, what should you do with that money? Should you renovate your home or pay down your mortgage? The second thing to say is that we are not addressing emotional decisions. It could be really cool to have a pool in the backyard, but that's an emotional decision and not really about increasing the value, although it does increase the value, but it's not about getting maximum value versus paying down your mortgage. So if there's something that you really wanted, if you wanted a pergola in the backyard, that's an emotional decision. But we are talking today about renovating to increase value. Renovating is all about increasing the value of your house for more than the dollar you put in. You get more than a dollar for dollar benefit. If you spend $10,000 renovating, you would want the value of your house to increase by more than $10,000. Now buyers often discount your house if there is obvious renovations needed. Think about a buyer that's looking to buy a $900,000 house, uh, but the roof needs doing, so they're going to offer eight seventy. dollars Now, often they'll build a premium into that because the roof will cost $20,000, but there's a hassle of having to do that themselves. So they build in a premium. This is the premium you want to take advantage of. And that brings us on to our first point. Anything that drastically needs doing to the house, like a roof that clearly needs replacing, or unconsented works, like an unconsented carport, is a really good way of increasing the value of your house. People will take off the value of that roof and build in a premium for them. You put on the roof, you're going to get that premium back. Unconsented works takes out buyers and that lowers the value of your house. Only a certain amount of people have enough deposit that the banks will be happy to lend on a property with unconsented works. Anyone with 20% or lower deposit will not be able to buy your house if you've got unconsented works. Now the important thing is that this takes time, so do it now, even if you're looking to sell a year, two years out, get any unconsented works done and you are back in the main pool of buyers. Secondly, anything that's deteriorating is often a good fix. Anything like rotten weatherboards that may be small to fix now, but in the future will have further rotten boards or other significant expenses attached with them is better to fix sooner rather than later. Thirdly, if you are borrowing over 80% of the value of your house, you need to weigh up whether you're going to renovate or lower your mortgage quite carefully. At the end of the day, renovation is a bet that you will put in $1 and come out with $1.20 or $1.50. If you put in $10,000, hopefully you will increase the value by $15,000 or $20,000, but you may only increase it by $10,000. Paying down your mortgage is a guarantee. If you pay down a million dollar property with $850,000 of mortgage, if you pay down $50,000 from that, you are guaranteed to be at 80%. But if you took that $50,000 and increased the value, you might increase it by $50,000, you might increase it by $100,000, but you might also increase it by $30,000 because you've added something that a valuer doesn't think is worth an additional $50,000. People just aren't paying that much extra. So carefully weigh up those options. Finally, think about how hot the market is. If you are looking to sell in the next, say, six months, and the market is just boiling, people are coming in making silly offers no matter what the house is like, then something like a fixing an unconsented carport would be good, 
but really is adding anything else to the house, is renovating anything else to the house, going to alter that price drastically. People are going to make silly offers, so why try and guess what they're gonna like? Just leave it as is, take that money and save it for the next house that you're going to purchase after someone's made a silly offer on your property. And finally, remember you can do both. You can just pay down a little bit of mortgage and do a small renovation. Maybe just one wall is horrendously colored and you can paint over it. It won't put many people off now. The new color will entice more people, but it's only cost you a couple of thousand dollars. You can use the rest to pay down your mortgage and save some interest in the future. So as you can see, there's not always a clear decision, but unconsented works, deteriorating parts of the house are always a good bet. Really ugly parts of the house are a good bet. And after that, your mortgage is a guaranteed savings. If you want guaranteed savings, pay down your mortgage. If you wanna take a bet on increasing the value by more than the dollar you've put in, renovate your house. Now we can't advise you on renovating, but we can tell you how much you'll save by paying down your mortgage. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch. Talk to you soon.